water levels in the Great Salt Lake in Utah hit an all-time low. The drying lake is having a dramatic impact on its surrounding environment. We have an enormous resource, but it's being threatened. Speaker Wilson and I and a group of other officials from the state were able to uh, tour the Great Salt Lake, everything from the world of agriculture to industrial processes to migratory birds. We looked at various aspects of the lake and come away with uh, great concern. From the air, it looked like this was about 10 feet deep. And as we just saw, it's about six inches deep. This can't be allowed to continue. It's been going on too long. We're getting about 25% less water each year over the last 10 years that is needed to keep the lake at the same level. And you see dust coming off of the dry lake bed, and that dust often has uh, toxins in it that will be harmful to people's health. Inaction will mean ill health for people on the Wasatch Front, probably slow down or stop economic development, the death of a lot of birds. And what we learned today is that there are a number of actions that can be taken that will dramatically increase the flow into the lake. Conservation of various kinds, bringing new technology into agriculture, the, the need is immediate. If we look at something like agriculture, we saw ideas today from a private company which is helping farms get water to their fields with about 30% less water. So you save water, you increase the health of the crop, and you save labor. They could save so much water, an unbelievable amount of water. And I can say I come away optimistic, that properly organized, with a lot of support from the public, we will be able to solve the problem of the shrinking of the Great Salt Lake. The eyes of the world are on us. Utah really has the opportunity to be the poster child for how to solve an incredibly difficult problem. There are answers. Getting the right answers in place fast enough is the task that's before us.